half a kilometre underground here is the richest coal seam in Britain. It's five metres thick, high quality, and there's enough of it to sustain nearly a thousand jobs for 20 more years. Yet the owners of Daw Mill are losing money and have let it be known they would rather close it down than agree to the miners getting the pay rise they're looking for. Britain's biggest remaining pit could face closure within weeks. Now you might think the idea that Britain's biggest coal mines on the point of collapse is relatively important and that the national media here or politicians might care or want to do something about it. And yet it's barely raised an eyebrow in Britain. It's almost as though this country's got so used to the idea of industrial decline that things like this have somehow stopped mattering anymore. They've certainly got used to bad news here. These villages used to be propped up completely by mining and you can still see the remnants of the shafts buried in the woods. Yet over time, 700 mines across Britain have turned into just seven. People like Ray lost his job up the road at this pit at the age of 51. He's never worked again. When it's short, it's like taking heartbeat out of a village because the mine, everything was centred around the mine. Yeah. I mean, if the church wanted anything, the, the men were there, the skills, the carpenters and the plumbers and bricklayers, everybody. And the same with the school, if a child felt ill or fell over and got injured, the teacher just put that kid in the car and bring it just up here. Local communities which had to battle on after the mine shut have a sort of weary resignation at the potential closure of yet another perfectly good one, coupled with the sentiment you hear endlessly in post-industrial Britain that there's nothing to do. At one point, we had virtually every village had its own pit. It was, it was one of the biggest mining areas in the country. But um, unfortunately now, it's, it's changed completely. No manufacturing around here now. It's all gone, hasn't it? Yeah. 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 I say if the pitch shots would be even worse. The best that Britain could come up with to cover over the mine shafts has been this kind of thing. Giant warehouses that don't make anything but do transport goods to other places. They employ a few but what they don't do is create much wealth or provide the sort of community that mines or factories used to. At a time when the British government keeps calling for a return to industry, this shows just how hard it is to get things back once you've lost them. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Warwickshire in England.